All right, hell yeah. So 20 minutes on the clock. And uh, commenters like, hey, can you talk about your setbacks? And man, this is brutal right now, actually. It's just like, it's the worst ever. But my parents always say, hey, talk about what's going good in your life, what you have done. You know what I mean? And, uh, but life's tricky. Because if you haven't done anything in the last week, like, that's all you're going, like, you could do things ten years ago that were way cool, and it's it just, for whatever reason, on the human mind, it means nothing. You could have done something cool last week. But even though, like, today is today, it, it could mean nothing. So from the mental health perspective, uh, like, holy hell. Like, uh, for whatever reason, the mind and body, you just has to be on top of it to always just feel like you're, you know, you know you're, you're fulfilling something. Uh, and that's where I definitely set the bar low. So still, let's talk about the, the, the good things. You know, I really appreciate all the support um, you know what I mean, subscribers, likes, um, holy hell, because, I don't know, I live in America, and it's brutal here, so, I'm just surprised no one's just made fun of me just trying to do a fake voice, and, you know, just do whatever, but, hell yeah, we're, we're getting better at it, just being like, for sure, this is, uh, this is what people need, you know what I mean, they need to, like, kind of this character, so that's one aspect, it's just like, one aspect of a character is just like, hell yeah, we're, like, a, my comedy character never gets frazzled, you know what I mean? We just kind of do our thing. And uh, I think that's what people need. They need comedy, and they need they need to know that, yeah, you know what I mean? Someone's out there just like, hey, just doing their thing, and, you know, ain't going to get uh, frazzled. Um, so, some of the good things, I don't know, this YouTube channel, holy hell, just, uh, it, it's going pretty good. I'm only doing ads at the beginning, not doing ads in the mid-roll, but we're making... Uh, and just and just upload. I'm not doing anything for thumbnails. We're making 15 bucks a day, sometimes 20, so 15 to 20, and uh, hell yeah, and that's seven days a week, so that's 20 bucks a day. And because else, I'm unemployed. I live with my folks. I I, I feel like uh, like currently in the last three years, I haven't done a lot. Where other people are out there chiseling away at a 40-hour week job, sometimes that affects me mentally. That I am not holding my own in the world. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I kind of live in a socialist environment of like, hey, I don't know if I can do things, but, um, I do have mental illness. I don't know if I'm using that as a bar to be like, I can't work, uh, but we can talk about that. Uh, but I try to use all my efforts into different areas, um, you know what I mean? Because I, I don't know, I, I uh, have mental illness, I have uh, tons of friends that have mental illness and kind of, you know, part of the group of people that have mental illness and just kind of see what people do and some people work, some people don't. Um, uh, I, I, can, I can tell you why it's difficult for me to work and why I did work, but these last three years have been very difficult. So, um, so yeah, the math videos are good, uh, but what... Parents still say, hey, s still say what you have done. So three years ago, I, um, before, before having back pain and even leading up to, like, having pretty serious back pain, um, my parents owned a bunch of properties, so I would just mow lawn, shovel snow, but then also we have a cabin, um, that was a family cabin, just totally tiny, overrun, two acres, and so I spent about three to four years, uh, landscaping, building trails, um, you know, and, and refurbishing this cabin. Um, so hell yeah. And it was just nice to be able to, uh, go out there at any, any time of the day. Uh, but let, yeah, let's talk about that. Because with my mental illness, for whatever reason, my body wants to sleep, like, during the day. It wants to go to bed about 6 a.m. and then wake up about noon or 2. You know what I mean? Go to bed at... Yeah, about 6 a.m. and wake up about 2. Like, that's, that is, like, literally my body could probably do that every day for the rest of my life. I do not know why. I do not know why that's the only time my body can actually, like, get a full night's rest and not have to worry about, about life. But I, I think there is a trauma, um, thing there where it's just, like, I, I don't know. But if I, if I go to bed at 9, uh, p.m., like a normal human being, 9 or 10, I will literally wake up two hours later and just not be able to get back to sleep uh, for the rest of the night until maybe like 6 a.m., 8 a.m., and then I'll be able to go to bed again. And so, um, uh, 
Now, this last week I had to go to a conference. It was a conference on mental illness. And, uh, yeah, two nights, and I had to do that process. I slept for two hours, and then I was just up all night just kind of reading. But luckily I was able to kind of nod off again. But that, that is an absolute nightmare if that would be my life for, for the rest of my life. So uh, sleep is just hella important. It's the most important thing you could ever get. And then, uh, and then I think the second important thing is just to have things to do that make your life filled up. Even if it's not working, you know what I mean? And so, um, but uh, I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess I have... Um, um, I have this opportunity to live with my folks currently, they're still alive, and uh, so I'm going to take it. I guess I'm, I'm an opportunist when it comes to that. Like, uh, I already know, like, yeah, that 12, like, uh, I, when having mental illness, I remember taking meds, so I took meds for five years on and off, and, and, I, and I'm choosing not to take meds, you know, even though maybe meds could help circadian rhythms, but um, I don't know. Like, the side effects on meds, is you're just not going to live as long. And uh, I definitely don't think it would ever help the back pain, that's for sure, and, and stuff like that. Um, what am I getting at? So yeah, on, on meds, I, I, I was able to pick litter on the freeway. I just remember, like, my mind, uh, you know, would just kind of be, like, so low, just be really tired all the time. And uh, I just couldn't take on high responsibilities. Some of those meds, that was kind of the symptoms. Um, um, but yeah, it's just kind of fascinating, and that, that was a time where I was able to, I was just hella sleeping, you know, so yeah, you can regulate your life with meds, I guess I'm just choosing not to. I don't know if it's making my life hell harder, um, um, I, I do not know. But I do know, like, basically this back pain, it, it's a, it's a full-time thing, like I, when I sleep, I have to kind of sleep with like a, a certain... I'm sleeping on my side, or I have to have pillows like cradling my whole back, and I can kind of sleep at a 45 degree angle. I can't sleep on my back, and uh, every day is uh, I'm just every day at night. I'm just trying to not make my back pain worse. I have been able to wake up and go for a bike ride and kind of loosen up the body, um, but man, because of that sleep cycle, and uh, you know, because I'm up all night, you know, like right now it's. It's 3 a.m., you know what I mean? Like, uh, what jobs are you going to get at 3 a.m.? But the thing is, is my sleep cycle... You can work at night at the grocery store and stuff, but the thing is that my sleep cycle also rotates. It's never just at night. It'll kind of go forward. So for me, it's just very difficult to keep a schedule. If I had any sort of job, it would have to be a job that I could go to kind of at any time of day. So it's basically like an at-home job. If someone's like, hey, here's some batch work that you can do at home, and you can do it at any time that you want, um, you know, um, yeah, so I am interested in that. Uh, I just, I just don't know, you know, like no one's, no one's like, you know, like jobs are competitive. Like you have to go find them, not the other way around. And so, um, but I will speak out about that. There's plenty of people that have mental illness that have, like, they can only, like, for me, like, I can only fit a job into a certain bubble that's not going to wreck my life. Um, and so, um, you know, I think that's what the world needs to know so that they can actually say, no, we have that job, and you would be fine with it. Uh, my last three or three years working at the ski area, uh, my cycle is just really messed up. All I could do is night parties, and then I would uh, sleep during the day, and then be ready to do a night party at 4 p.m. to, and then I would just work from 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. And uh, um, and there was enough trust there that I could just I could just be the only one in the shop and in the mountain, and then close up. And uh, so that that also is something. Anyway, um, but man, these last three years with back pain and not having any sort of normal job to go to, I think it has been harder. Um, so I guess, what's the, what's the pros? Well, the biggest pro is that I was able to start digitizing photos, and uh, my aunt and uncle, um, they, they took my business, and so, um, hell yeah. So I did, uh, I did, um, man, I mean, I did all their albums. It was, uh, we settled. They paid me twenty bucks an hour, so it was really, it was really sweet that they did that. I, I do high quality work, you know, 
and all, all the scanning and digitizing and organizing slides, photos, and have really nice equipment. So um, yeah, made like four thousand dollars there. So and that's what I use to do. Uh, uh, you know, definitely you do a road trip for um, for the rafting this fall. So I was really excited about that. Um, but uh, man. But yeah, just like, even just like right now, it's just, I'm just doing the math videos and stuff like that because it's like something I can do. Because um, uh, even with the digitizing photos, I don't think I have anyone lined up again. I have plenty of work for my folks that I can do. Um, but sometimes it's difficult um, to, uh, yeah, to get into the groove of being like, no, I have to do this, this sort of work. So I guess I, I, I've just been working on the videos, like even just making 15 to $20 a day, is, that's, that's mind-blowing for me. And so I'm just like, hell yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to continue doing that. No reason to, uh, no reason to give, on, give up on that. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it fits the bill. I can do it at any hour, and uh, it's fun for me. And, and there's just so many things... Um, and it is what it is, you know. I mean, average average view length's about a minute, and uh, but hell yeah, leave a like, and I just really appreciate that. So uh, those are my current challenges right now. Just feeling like an utter pile of, uh, you know, what I mean, just at just at that. That's a low point in life mentally. Just being like, whoa, am I not working? And it feels that way. But if I, um, but I'm just like. Number one is taking care of my mental illness, making sure I get sleep, making sure my body's not just, uh, you know, just a total wreck. And uh, then number two is, like, not wasting time in life, you know what I mean? Um, like, I, I uh, like that, watching YouTube videos, hell yeah, I would say definitely don't do that. Like, I, I'd watch my videos, but don't watch anyone else's. I don't know, that YouTube is, like, super addictive. I think anything... And uh, that is my biggest challenge. My biggest setback is to, um, is to not get sucked into the computer. So doing this road trip was life-changing because I, I was never on a computer. And I was able to sleep in my car. Um, and I would... So this was cool. Hopefully, we, I don't think we have too much more time because we need to just make this one video. Now we got seven minutes. All right, hell yeah. So... Um, uh, circadian rhythms for mental illness is king for me because it, it sets up the foundation of what you can do in a day. Um, so, um, the fact that I've been up all night is like, well, it, like, right now I'm just like, it, this, it's a sucky time to be up. You know, I guarantee, you know, it's, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like you can do everything. You know what I mean? You can't make a lot of noise maybe in the neighborhood and stuff. And it's just a bizarre time to be up. Like, I'm used to it, but it is bizarre. And so, um, to, to gravitate towards making math and physics videos, uh, that's kind of cool because I, I'm enthralled with it and I can spend all my energy doing that. And so, uh, so that's what we're doing. Even though at some point I, sh I need to have a little bit of balance, you know, make a video and then, you know, start to digitize. Um, but currently having that... that that work-life balance, that, that, that can be tricky. Um, um, yeah. Oh, so I guess the setbacks when it comes to that is like, uh, I'm, I'm, um, I'm good at taking care of, like, dishes and bathrooms and, like, personal hygiene. You know, uh, my habit, because this is like, hey, how are your habits? It's just like, hell, we don't miss brushing, we don't miss flossing. Like, there are some things in life that I just, I, I do, I, I jump through the hoops. Even if it, even if it's, um, it cause, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes, like, you're just, um, you can procrastinate knowing that you have to do those things, but then you do do them. Um, but the things that I'm horrible at is, uh, I have, uh, too much stuff. I'm kind of a hoarder. And then the fact that... Like, currently with the back pain, and it's knee pain and hip pain. I should have mentioned that. I got uh, um, surgery in this knee um, for meniscus. This is the one that I hit with a, a tree, had metal plate, and they took it out. But, man, that was, that was in combination with the back pain and knee pain. And uh, currently, I can't walk very far. So I can't even walk enough to mow a lawn. 
I can walk enough to go to the grocery store, but at some point, like, I can't walk, so I'm just hoping that gets a little bit better. So we've been able to mountain bike, and so hopefully I'm kind of strengthening my legs when it comes to that. But, you know, that is absolute insanity, because I've always been able to do physical labor. So this is the only time in my life, these last three years, where it's just like, I can't do physical labor. Else I would. I would just do physical labor for ten hours a day. Like, like it's nothing. But now I'm just like super sensitive to be like... Like, so today I, I did two hours of leaf blowing, and we got a nice leaf blower, so like all the properties, like one, two, three, like the whole half city block leaf blowed. Um, but, uh, you know, that was just, that was two hours, and I can probably, you know, do that. Um, so that was the thing. After my road trip, I was like, well, can you do one to two hours of like physical labor? And um, my, my brother and my dad are working on a house, and so I, I was going over there and, and doing as much as I could. Uh, we got four minutes left. And, um, and that lasted about a couple weeks, but then it was just like, oh man, my back is starting to hurt. You know what I mean? So it was like, is it worth it? And that, that was like, a, and then my, my brother's got, he's 10 years older, and he's got hella arthritis, and he's just in pain a lot. And so that could be the future for me too. So I'm just like, and the consensus was, is just like, is it worth it? You know what I mean? Is it, isn't it better just to keep your pain in check? Do things that are like physical therapy that might help you instead of doing a, a working task that's going to set you back. And so that's kind of where I'm at. But mentally that's tough because especially with mental illness, it's just like, yeah, that, that would be a, a position. It's like, hey, being a stalker at a grocery store, you know, late at night, where you don't have to talk to no one, and if you do, it's all just like, you know, bro talk and stuff, because there's no customers around. And, um, but I, I just can't walk from here to there. And lifting sucks. Like, lifting this way is just absolute nightmare on my back. Um, I can do most everything else in this direction, uh, but, like, if, if I have to, like, lift something like this, it's just, it's just awful. Um, um, so, yeah, so that, that's the only, that's the biggest setback is just, like, whoa. Having mental illness is one thing. Having your circadian rhythms just totally messed up is another thing. But then not being able to do physical easy work, it, you know, so that's where I was just like, well, how do we do this? Well, how do we do this at the house? Well, we, we digitize photos, you know what I mean? So there's plenty of things to digitize, and hopefully I can get some, some new customers uh, down the line. And I can just digitize my folks's, but uh, for whatever reason, I also, uh, you know, the mind's not 100%. Every, you know, it's really hard to do things on your own. So it's just like, right now I'm just spending all my time doing math and physics. But, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of a hoarder. Life is kind of, uh, you know, rooms just always just full of stuff. But like I said, wash sheets, clean bathrooms, make sure dishes are done. You know, just like keep your refrigerator clean. Stuff like those I'm just really good at. But, um, you know, definitely when my room gets uh, cluttered, it definitely gets dusty, which also can cause respiratory, especially around getting sick and stuff. So I got to be cautious about that. But that's my biggest setback is just... Having too many things, just like uh, having access to a, like way too many hobbies, um, and, and just having that just like explode on your life. And um, anyway, um, other ways to set bar low is just like like yeah, I don't I don't uh, don't date. You know what I mean? Just from the mental health perspective, it's just like that that ain't gonna be. That's you're gonna cause more anxiety. Even though you know it's probably pretty cool, but. Um, yeah, we just kind of uh, do our own thing. And then the other thing is, like, I'm not making a lot of money, you know what I mean? So when it comes to dating, I ain't, I ain't supporting anyone else. I'm hardly supporting myself, you know what I mean? I'm definitely um, uh, taking more than uh, I'm giving back. So, um, but we do, we try to do enough for the folks, you know what I mean? Kind of make a, yeah, I clean all the bathrooms, you know, do some laundry, do some, you know. I, I don't know. Anyway, so that's that's 20 minutes. That's uh, how my life is. You know what I mean? If you want to, you know, leave a like if you want me to do more 20 minutes of this. So, hell yeah. Thanks for joining me. And guess what? That's a video.